Okay, in this quick tutorial, now we're going to calculate the area of a circle. So we've seen how to calculate the circumference with that formula 2 pi r or pi d. And so the formula for the area of the circle or the space contained within the boundaries of the circle like this is area of a circle, we'll just say area. is equal to pi r squared. So pi times the length of the radius squared. And you have to do these exponential terms, this radius squared term first before you do pi. So in this case, let's bring up our numbers and see what this circle is. It's set as dimensions 2 in x and y, so that means it's going to have a radius of 1. All right. So for this particular circle, the circle is going to be pi times, look, use that dot for multiplication squared, times 1 squared. Now whether you use that as feet, meters, or whatever, doesn't matter. It's up to you what you choose your measurements to be. If I had that as meter, it'd be one meter times one meter would be one square meter. All right. So this ends up being. Well, in fact, I'll use that as. In fact, let's do that. Let's take this. Let's let's use that as one meter squared. Times one meter, and then that's whole thing here. That's a parentheses squared like that. So, and that ends up equal being pi times one square meter. Notice no parentheses this time. This is one meter squared, and this is one square meter. Sometimes people call this one meter squared, but I find that it's better that you use this as one meter squared, and this is one square meter. And then you multiply it times pi. So that's just going to be the same as 3.1416 square meters, like that, would be the area of this circle here, or the area within the boundary. And there we go. I'm telling you it's 3.1416 square meters, but yet it's a circle. So remember, square when you hear those squared terms because of this 2 in the exponent, it's because you're dealing with an area measurement. All right? And then we'll also, since this, oh, we're only two and a half minutes into this lesson, so now we'll also just look at the volume of a cylinder as well. So this becomes easier. This is the, the volume of a cylinder. So if I just take this and I go into edit mode and I do EZ, and I extrude it up a certain height, all right, like this. And I'll go back and I'll see what height I actually gave it. In that case, z, I gave it one point. So let's make it, uh, we'll just make it five. All right, so there's our cylinder like that. I gave it a height of five. So the volume of a cylinder is quite simple to calculate. That's just, you're taking that the circular area measurement that we just calculated right there and you multiply it by one more term. So volume is equal to pi, same thing, so it's the pi r squared term, which is the area of the circle, and then you also multiply it times h, which is the height. That's it. So in this case, the height is 5. So that's going to be equal to this 3.141 six square meters times five meters in height. All right, so let's just do that. Let's clear that here. Let's just do 3.1416 times five equals 15.708. Equals, I'll just put it up here a little bit. So it's out of the way. So 15.708. And since it's a volume measurement, we have to multiply the square meter term by the meter term. It gives us a cubic meter term, which tells us it's a volume. So it's 
15.708 cubic meters is the volume of the cylinder or the amount of space contained within the boundaries of the cylinder, assuming these have really thin edges in there. Okay, all right, well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.